In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be able to connect Retail AI's brand new AI messaging agent to your website via a chat box. And the reason why this is super, super important is because you don't have to rely on platforms like Voice Love to provide your customer care via your website. You're just able to rely on Retail AI for everything from voice to messaging. And the nice part about Retail AI is that they don't charge you a monthly fee at all. So you're just able to immediately get this up and running without paying a monthly fee. All you have to pay for is the usage. And for the AI messaging agents, it's around around half a cent per message, which is super cheap. So this is going to enable you to directly connect your chat agents directly to your voice agents and handle everything from there. So let me show you how you're going to be able to connect your AI messaging agent directly to your website. We will be using a funnel builder in Go High Level to be able to do this, but these steps should be the same steps that you need to follow to be able to connect it to any type of website builder out there like Squarespace, GoDaddy, or any builder that you're using for your websites. But before we do that, let me introduce myself. My name is Emmanuel Tamir. I'm the founder of Sampana LLC. We've helped various companies implement voice AI agents directly into their business. And now we're helping a bunch of companies dial in their AI messaging agents too. Because when you combine these two, they get really, really powerful. And the best part is it works 24 seven with no complaining at all. So if you want to start automating your business and want to spend less time managing stuff, feel free to book a call at Zampano.com and we can help you implement these AI tools directly into your business. So now let's get into the video on how you'll be able to connect Retail AI directly to your website. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is log into Retail AI. Once you're logged into Retail AI, what you're gonna wanna do from here is very simple. You're gonna come over here to create an agent, then you are going to create a chat agent then you're going to be able to choose between a conversation flow agent, single prompt agent, or multi prompt agent. In some of my other videos, I talk about how good multi prompt agents are for getting the AI to do whatever you want it to do. In this case, we are just going to use a single prompt agent because we're able to develop the AI faster, but you'll be able to do this with a multi prompt agent and a conversation flow agent. And the other question that you also might be asking is what happens if I have a really good AI voice agent that I just want to convert to a chat agent. What you're able to do is just click cancel over here, then come to these three dots, then click to convert to chat agent over here, and then boom, it will be converted just like that. And once you click on that, you're able to come to all agents, and then you'll be able to see the multi state agent over here with it being a chat agent but we're not gonna do that. We are just going to click create agent, chat agent, single prompt agent, and then create. From here, what you're gonna be able to do is choose what model you're gonna be using. I always go with a ChatGPT model because I've just gotten really good at developing really good prompts for ChatGPT and because ChatGPT is a bit cheaper than all the other alternatives. So that's what I always recommend going with, but Again, if you get really good results with Claude or Gemini, you're able to go with them too. But what I always go with is GPT 4.1 and then the fast tier from GPT 4.1 for these chat agents. And then over here, you're gonna be able to choose the language that the AI is gonna be able to speak. You're also able to just click on the multilingual agent. So it just detects a language and then it just starts communicating in that language and then it can switch back and forth between different languages. And the other cool thing is you're able to have different dialects of English. So you're able to choose between the UK dialect of English, the New Zealand dialect of English, or on default, the US dialect of English. So we're just going to keep it on the US dialect, but you're also just able to switch everything to multilingual too, which will use the US dialect of English. But we're just going to stick to this. And then what you're going to be able to do from here is you're going to be able to add functions over here. So you're going to be able to book an appointment or check for a availability on the calendar. Then over here, you're going to be able to auto close inactive chats. So you're able to set that up and then you're able to set how long it will take for the chat to close after inactivity. And then you're going to be able to add your knowledge base. So we're just going to go with our go high level knowledge base. Again, I showed how you're able to create a knowledge base in a previous video. Then over here, you're going to be able to add post chat analysis, and you're going to be able to analyze this with GPT-40 mini 
or GPT-40. GPT-40 costs an extra cent per analysis. So I just recommend going with GPT-40 mini because of course it's free. Then you're going to be able to add everything here. And then you're able to add secure URLs over here. And then you're able to set up dynamic variables if you want to. Then you're able to connect this to a webhook in make.com or go high level at the end. So that's basically the settings to set up a chat agent. Now what we're going to have to do is set up the initial prompt and the initial script. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to write us a script for a mortgage company. So now that we're on ChatGPT, we are just going to tell it, write me a script for a mortgage company. This is going to be for our AI agent that is going to be having conversations with people via our website back and forth via the web chat. Then we are just going to enter this and then we are going to get a full structured prompt from ChatGPT. So here is everything. So just copy this. And then what you're going to do is come back to retail, paste everything here. And then you're going to be able to say if the AI begins with a dynamic message. So basically that means it's able to reply with different stuff every single time to a person, or it's going to be able to begin a chat with a predefined message. We will just go with a dynamic setting. So now that that's done, we are going to label our agent, AI messaging agent website. And then from here, what we will do is go to our CRM, go high level, and we are going to come to funnels over here. Then we are going to click on new funnel. We are going to label this funnel test web chat widget. Then we will create this. Then we will add a new step over here, web chat test, and then create funnel step. Then all we're going to have to do is come over here, create from blank. Then you'll be able to add a full width and basically save that and then come back. And then what you're going to do is come to settings over here. And what we will do now is we are going to go to the retail AI documentation. So we are going to come back out over here. We are going to click on help center. Then we will click check documentation. So once you're in documentation, what you're going to do is scroll down over here and look up chat widget and then click on that. And then we will scroll down just a tiny bit and you will be able to copy this right here and then come back over here and you'll be able to paste your code over here just like that. Now we will have to add a couple of stuff. So we will just open a JSON editor real quick. So we are just going to paste our code over here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to create a public API key. So we are going to click over here on retail, come to keys. We are going to add key public key. And then this is going to be test GHL website funnel. And then we are going to come to go high level and then copy the go high level domain. So it's just going to be gohighlevel.com. And then we will also be able to add our own domain too, which is going to be simpano.com and then click save. So basically by adding these allowed domains over here, you're just allowing the API key to only be used on that website and that website only. So someone will be able to see that API key, but they won't be able to make any requests to the retail account because it is only restricted to the Simpana domain and the go high level domain. That's about it. But I wouldn't recommend keeping it registered to the go high level domain because that means anyone with a go high level account will be able to get access to your API key. So I would always recommend having it, the permission only allowed for your own domain and that's it. But for this use case, we will allow it on go high level too, because we won't be deploying this website. So we are, will click save over here 
and then we will copy this public API key over here. Then we will come to our JSON editor. Then we will paste our API key right here, just like that. And then the next thing is data agent ID, your retail chat agent ID. So we come back to retail, come back to agents, come to our folder, YouTube test. Then we click on the AI messaging over here and then agent ID is right there. Then you come back to JSON editor and then just paste that right here, just like that. Then the next thing is your retail chat agent version. We will just delete that. This is not too important at all. So we will just delete that. Then the next thing is going to be data title, your custom title. So this is going to be Simpana AI Assistant. And our logo, we will come to go high level. Then we will come to media storage. And what we will do is upload a image of our logo. So we will click upload over here and we will just click open and then it's just going to upload it over here just like that then copy the link to this then come back to the json editor and paste that link directly over here just like that then the data color so what we will do is come over here to retail and we see that it, this is a hex color code so we will look up hex color color code and then we will come over here and then just find a color that matches our stuff so we will just come down like that come to the color blue and then boom so this is our hex color right here we will copy this and then we will come back to the json editor and paste the color code just like that without the pound button and then boom, that's basically it. So from here, you copy this, come back to GHL, come to sites, funnels, test web chat widget, settings, and then paste that directly over here, just like this, and then click save, and then boom. So now you'll be able to click on view page, and you will be able to click on the AI button on the bottom right, and you'll be able to communicate with the AI agent directly here, so hello. And then the AI will reply back. Hey there, welcome to HomePath Mortgage. I'm Milo. And then boom, boom, boom. And then you're able to say, I am interested. And then you're able to have a full on conversation with the AI back and forth. Um, and then the AI could be able to book people into employments and do all of that. Now, if you're running into any problems, just make sure that your JSON code looks exactly like this. Make sure that you have a data agent version exactly like this and make sure you have a pound right before your hex code and that's basically going to fix your problem if you're running into a problem but you shouldn't be running into a problem if you just deleted this but yeah that's basically it and that's how you're able to connect an ai agent directly to your website so you're able to just communicate with it back and forth and have leads have a better experience with your company now again i wouldn't recommend doing this with a single prompt agent the only reason we did this with a single prompt agent was to be able to get this up and running as quickly as possible but i would recommend setting this up with a multi-prompt agent or even a conversation flow agent so those are the two types of agents i will set this up with to have the best responses now that's basically it with this video if you have any other questions feel free to ask them in the comment section if you want to implement ai into your business feel free to book a call at simpana.com and if you want to be caught up on the most recent ai news feel free to join my telegram or my newsletter Let's <laughs> go.